Hi everyone and welcome back to another midweek video. Today I want to talk about the three phases of the covert narcissist. Narcissists can be very predictable when you come to understand how they think and view life. When it comes to how a narcissist act or respond to situations, you can just about know what they're going to say and what they're going to do. The covert narcissist in particular has only three options. I guess because they are extremists. They are nothing in between. They are the good, the bad and the ugly. The three faces the narcissists show are either the face of a hero, the face of a victim or the face of evil. We already know they reserve the evil face for those closest to them. Whereas in public, they are either the hero or the victim. And depending on the narcissist, they are sometimes more one than the other. Two of these faces are only masks that they wear to manipulate people, while one of them is their true face, which is the face of evil. But let's first look at the face of the victim that the narcissist shows when it's convenient for them. But for some narcissists, this face is more of a permanent feature. I am talking about those narcissists who use an illness or an unfortunate situation to keep seeking narcissistic supply. For example, those who may have a disability or an ailment, they make sure everybody knows about it and they use it to manipulate people, to feel sorry for them and to do things for them. They may also use it to appear vulnerable and not at all dangerous or use it as an excuse to be miserable and difficult. Their illness becomes the default go-to to excuse their behavior or give excuses as to why they can't do something for you. They are happy playing a victim for life because it allows them to get the attention they crave and to never take accountability for their actions. Narcissists enjoy a good pity party because they are receiving the empathy they crave from the people around them. But aside from that, some narcissists are just happy to play the victim, especially when they have empathetic people around them. They make themselves look sad to get people constantly checking if they are okay and even try to make them happy. Or they make a show of them having a low self-esteem or not being happy with their appearance in order to get compliments. These narcissists are very needy and constantly looking validation. And we must not forget that narcissists would always prefer to be seen as the victim than the villain. They would prefer to blame others for anything bad or negative that happens. They would throw you under the bus to save their skin and save themselves from critique. But these narcissists are happy to receive the attention whichever way they can and the face of the victim works very well as they are not labeled as bad but more vulnerable the second face the narcissist is happy to wear is that of the hero or someone who is just a complete joy to be around as they are usually quite entertaining and accommodating they know how to make people, the outsiders, feel welcomed, loved and appreciated. They are always on hand when they need help or they always have a solution to their problems. They can seem quite interested and caring and willing to do whatever it takes to help others. Of course, this is everyone else but those who are closest to them as the covert narcissist is happy to put total strangers above you and before you. The final face is that of evil. 
the lion manipulative creature that is behind the mask, the face that they themselves are ashamed of and try desperately to keep secret, the face of evil that wants to hurt others and get satisfaction from seeing others in pain or failing, the face of evil that wants control of everyone and everything and thinks success should only be theirs. The face of evil that shows itself through those quick micro expressions and sinister smirk. Their face of evil, which is their true face, which is hidden from the world and reserved only for an unfortunate few. These are the three faces of the covert narcissist. Two are only a mask, and the darkest of all is their true face, an ugly face of bitterness and hate. Nothing good about the narcissist is real, which is a sad, unfortunate truth, but the main reason why we need to keep away from them. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you all found this helpful. If you did, be sure to click that like button. Also, do leave me a comment below. Have a blessed week, everyone.